Hey guys, it's April. Welcome back to my channel, House to Home. Yes, I am sitting out in my car today. It is rainy and miserable, and I'm about to go into work. And yes, what you were watching was a roller coaster. Um, I work part-time on the side very once in a while at a local amusement park and we do like Halloween weekends so today I'm going to be going into work and that is why I decided to film in my car just like so kind of kill two birds with one stone but yes people do ride in the rain they ride roller coasters in the rain uh, that was a roller coaster right now that they are test running you know before we open for the day I actually work at a wooden roller coaster uh, so yeah just a little fun fact about me and where I am today so if you're hearing the rain, it's because it's coming down pretty hard. So anyway, uh, today I'm going to be do answering some questions that you guys left for me. In my last video, I told you guys to leave me questions as a way to enter my 500 subscriber giveaway. So I'm going to be answering some of those questions. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I will be announcing the winner. So, before I get started, I just wanted to tell you guys uh, thank you so much for all the comments and questions that you guys left. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. You know, hit that button below and join my YouTube family. And I'm going to be having lots of upcoming DIYs, Christmas decorating videos. I'm just so excited. I can hardly contain myself. But anyway, without uh, further ado, let's start answering some of these questions. So, um, they were kind of like, you know, all over the place. Some of them were like Christmas related. Some were just like goals in general with YouTube and stuff. So I'm just, you know, going to kind of group them off. Um, first we'll do the ones like kind of more YouTube oriented. Um, the first question was what inspired me to start a YouTube channel? Well, honestly, I meant to do it for a lot of years and I don't know why, but something just kind of held me back from it. I would have just always make excuses, say that I wouldn't have the time. No one will like to watch my videos, you know, just for things like that. And then, I don't know, I just, one day I said to myself, you know, it's time to stop making excuses. You need to just try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? And really, I did it just so I, you know, would kind of have an extra hobby and be able to network and meet new people and, you know, just really take something that I enjoy, which is, you know, home decor and be able to share it with other people. Because in all honesty, other than like my mom, I really don't have a lot of girlfriends that are into home decor like and shopping and stuff like I am. So it's just really nice to have that community with, you know people that share your interest and I, I've just loved talking to a lot of you um just making a lot of good friends just in the last couple months so I'm really excited to see where this takes me um the second question was what are my goals for 2020 and I mean definitely my goal is to hit a thousand subscribers um you know but that's really not the only thing that matters to me I just want my channel to grow um, I want to make better content. Um, hopefully I'll be able to buy better equipment and, you know, lighting and stuff like that. Kind of on a budget right now. So, you know, with the help of you guys and subscribers and views, I'm hoping to someday be able to get to that point. Um, what is my favorite thing to DIY furniture, decor, or other? Oh, that's a tough one. Cause I really do love doing them all. I kind of, I, uh, backstory. I went to school for art. Um, I went to school for graphic design and that is what I do for a living. That is my full-time job. I can kind of go into more about that later and tell you guys. Um, but as far as like home decorating and all that stuff, that's just kind of been like a side passion of mine. I don't have any training or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I started out always loving to do furniture. I would, you know, buy different pieces at yard sales and thrift stores and do them over. But, I mean, I guess still my heart is kind of in DIY projects and just making crafts and stuff. Because I've been doing that since I was a kid and I don't know, I just really love it. Uh, next we're going to go into... Well, let's do these two random questions first. One is, if I could go anywhere in the United States, where would it be? Uh, I've been to a lot of different states, you know, in the United States. 
Um, but my favorite was probably California. I don't think I would want to live there, but I really, really enjoyed visiting. And when we went, we only stayed for a week. And I just, I feel like I didn't get enough time. Like, you know, we went to Hollywood and L.A. and all that different stuff. We did, like, the Warner Brothers tour. I went to SeaWorld. All different things like that. But, my God, I just felt like you needed to be there, like, a month to really, like, enjoy it and appreciate it. And um, I like Florida a lot when I, you know, as far as like vacationing for the summer. But as far as like a state that I would want to live in, like currently I live in Pennsylvania. But if I probably could live in any other state, it would be Georgia. I just, I don't know. I, I visited there so many times and I just really love the people. I love you know, the climate, just the atmosphere. I just feel like it's so like welcoming and, you know, probably the closest to what I'm used to like small town living. So I would live in Georgia, but visit California. What is my favorite book? Well, I haven't been reading a whole lot, to be honest with you guys. I, I'm just like so busy, you know, between work, you know, taking care of my dogs, having a YouTube channel. And I really just don't give myself enough time to like sit down and read a good book. But when I did used to read a lot, um, I did like to read Nicholas Sparks books. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I always liked the movies. So then I would like be enticed to read the books and stuff and I don't know. I wish I was more of a reader. Maybe in 2020 I'll have to get more on that and start taking some recommendations for some good books from you guys. Okay, now the next questions are kind of like holiday related. Um, what is your favorite holiday? Well, my favorite holiday, I guess, is Christmas. Halloween and would be like a second after that. I mean, I love Halloween. I love, you know, all the different like aspects of it. Like, cause I just love fall and I love October. But when it comes to like Christmas, I don't know, nothing beats that decor or like being with your family, all that stuff. And I do kind of like the decorating a little more cause it kind of goes with my scheme of like farmhouse decor where Halloween really doesn't, but I still find a way to make it work. Uh, what is your all-time favorite Christmas movie? Oh boy, I have a lot of favorite Christmas movies. I love to just curl up on the couch in the wintertime, you know, take a snow day, watch some Hallmark Christmas movies, and I just love so many of them. And also, guys, I am going to be going to a Hallmark movie Christmas convention in the beginning of November. And I'm going to be meeting a lot of the different stars that have been in, you know, Christmas movies throughout the years. And I'm so super excited about it. And I will try to definitely vlog that day and show you guys, you know, what's going on. Show you some pictures that I got with some of the stars. Like, I don't know if any of you guys are Hallmark Christmas movie junkies like I am. But if you are, you'll really appreciate it. And I'm super excited. But getting back to um, the movies, I would say that my favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone. And my reasoning for it is my dad, he passed away when I was younger. And my memories of him, you know, they probably around like the, when I was like five years old to like eight years old. And that's probably like one of my favorite memories of my dad is he, you know, would be sitting on the couch with me watching Home Alone. And he just loved that movie. Like it had just like really not had been out that long, like before he passed away. And he was just laughing his butt off. Like, oh my God, he just thought it was the funniest movie ever. And I just, I always think of him laughing and stuff and it just brings back good memories. So I would say Home Alone. Um, when do I start my Christmas decorating? Well, normally I do that probably like Black Friday. Like I usually go out shopping Thursday night into Friday. Then I come home and sleep for a bit and then I start the holiday decorating. This year, because I'm doing YouTube, I feel like I might have to start decorating just a little bit earlier just so I can get like some video content and stuff up for you guys. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely going to start, like, some DIY videos in, like, the beginning of November for Christmas. But as far as the decorating, I don't know. So, it'll either be before or after Black Friday. <laughs> and then the last question is, do I get a real Christmas tree or a fake Christmas tree? 
I do fake Christmas trees. I have like two, sometimes three of them up throughout my house. I love a good flocked Christmas tree. Um, and I don't know, I, growing up, I never had a real Christmas tree. My mom and dad just never wanted one. They didn't want the cleanup in the mess. So I grew up just never having one. So now, you know, in my older years, I just kind of go with the same tradition. And I don't know, I just feel like it's cheaper and you can just, you know, less cleanup. You have it from year to year. And I don't know, I hear everyone says that the smell is amazing though, but I don't know. I'll just light a pine candle. <laughs> but anyway, that is all of your questions, guys. Um, now we're going to get into pulling who the winner of the giveaway is. Okay, guys, so I took everybody's name that left a comment on the previous video, you know, all these ones that I answered, and I put your name in a randomized drawing thing online that I found. So I'm going to let you guys know who that winner is. The winner is Almond Joy Alicia. So congratulations, girl. I'm super excited to send these ornaments out to you. Um, if you go uh, down below in my description box, you'll see my Instagram handle. We might already be connected on there, but I'm not sure. But I would like you to send me your address, and I will send these goodies coming your way. So congratulate her, everybody. I'm so excited to do future giveaways. So as soon as I hit a 1,000, subscribers I will definitely be doing another giveaway so until then guys like I said if you're new hit that subscribe button I'll have another video out coming this week probably a trash to treasure so until then I'll see you guys later bye